What up to Overlord 2015? I think this is my first, I'm not going to say beat making video, but I made a beat, so I'm just going to show you how I did it. So, this is my first video showing y'all how I made this beat in 2015. That sounds good. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just goofing off. But, um, first I started off with, um, bass. I was messing around with the, um, the, um, plug-in hybrid 3 that came with the last update on the Renaissance. Because I never messed with it. So I said, let me mess with it. And um, um, I got to admit, this thing is pretty freaking cool. Um, let me go through and show you what I mean. But um, it's very, very cool. So it's, um, so this is what I laid down first. So it was this space here. that alright then um added um added um keys from the bank So is that high octave? So I just did that. I put a little bit of delay on there to, um, to help it stand out because it's kind of deep in the mix. Just add a nice accent to it. It's not real prevalent. Um, and then I added. <laughs> the choir. Um, let me go here. <laughs> So it was, I did it um, in three different, it's like a chord, but I did them separately and I, and I stacked them. So it was like. did that one and then I came down an octave <laughs> then I went down to the very lowest octave So they all three stacked together and it sounds like this. And of course um I used the um plug and player for that. And then within the um VST itself I um I controlled the volumes of of the um of the layers so they wouldn't all be there together in the same space. Alright, so that was that. And of course I found a keyboard part. That's how that played out. Oh. Pretty 
simple. Then um, I got like vocal samples and stuff like that. I love construction kits. And I found one that made that fit the element just right. And it was this. And what I did with that is um, I took I took her vocal, I took that vocal and um I ran it, I, I, threw, an, I threw a chorus effect on it. Um, I actually threw two chorus effects on it. One was a four chorus and one was two. So it's kind of like six. And then I ran a high pass filter on it to give it that. Then I ran a high pass filter on it to give it a, um, another effect. Um, do, 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 do. Another thing um, I like about this, um, I like about this. Um, it makes it sound like I, um, I sampled an 80s record. Um, I mean, it sounds hip hop, but it sounds like something that was been sampled from a song out of the 80s, at least to me. Um, so the track came out pretty cool. Um, Especially since I was just experimenting with hybrid just to see what it do. And sometimes messing around the melody come, you say, ah, maybe I'll work on it. So I laid I laid the bass line down and woke up in the morning and said, ah, let me play with it some more and found other elements and just started playing other elements on top of it. So I'm gonna let you hear the beat, so let's check it out. <laughs> That's actually the hook. And this is the verse. She was running about the drums. The drums are actually from the um, expansion pack for the machine, really. Um, it's called Connie Gardens. Um, it's kind of like a, um, a Dilla sound kit, so to speak. Some of them actually has some Dilla sounds in it, and um, a lot of it's, it's kind of like a tribute. I would call it a tribute um, sample pack to Dilla. I mean, the Connie Gardens. It's got a lot of that, you know, Moog and lay back and the drums are kind of fun funky um so so they're all from that kit so i took it all from that expansion kit 
and that's how I, you know, got the drums. So I, I remember I didn't mention the drums at all. So that's it, folks. I mean, hopefully you like it. Um, pretty cool beat. Um, I like how it came out. I mean, hey. <laughs> Peace.